Most likely this is many of us in crypto market and it sounds like a dream to know where to buy. Wrong. It's not a dream. You just have to work with a strategy to find a strong demand zone and likelihood of happening. I'm not going to throw some random numbers as everyone else is doing. I've already explained about fundamental and macroeconomy behind the dip. In this episode, I'm going to the chart to back it up. So I would strongly suggest to watch episode one first so you would understand what are we talking about. If you're here so far for the magical numbers, like, subscribe and press the bell notification and let's get into it. So before we're getting into the chart, let me explain something. We cannot expect the market always goes down. The healthy market doesn't work like this. We should have some relief rallies as well. At some point, even I expect we're going to have a relief rally to 30,000. But I'm not sure how close are we to that point because the sign that at the moment I'm currently seeing which uh, let me show this way. So it was 17,500. It took around 58 days to reach 25,000. But it took around 23 days, if I'm not mistaken, to reach 18,500. That means the birds are in a power. Even same over here. It took around five to six candle to went up. And in one candle, it engulfed one, two, three, four candles. That means the birds are in a power. Whatever the price going up, it's just gonna shoot back down. And as I said, for sake of this video, we just want to explain where is the last dip and when, where do I expect the price drops and we're going to have some sort of like a trend re re uh, reversal and we're buying a dip. So let's get into the total market cap first. So if you expect the whole market cap is going to drop below this area, where is the first area of the support? As you can see in a weekly time frame, there's one red candles in here. That means in these areas, the price, the price, we can expect the whole market going to shift towards up and how much is going to be around 40%, roughly speaking. And if the whole market drops around 40%, we accept the crypt, like a Bitcoin drops between 33, 35, 38, it's going to be less than 40, 41%. Even we can consider this as well. So it's around uh, 40, 40, 42%. Now, let's see if you have anything like trend base. If we put over here, we can see strong coloration between uh, 0.618, uh, which is uh, Fibonacci. This is a trend base. So we can possibly see there's a strong, I, uh, there's a strong supportive area in this percent. Of, if the whole market drops 44%, uh, 40, 40 to 44%, uh, we're going to have some uh, trend reversal as well. Let's go into the Bitcoin now. So imagine if the Bitcoin drops around uh, 30, uh, 37 to 42%, how much it will be? Let's just put the price range. So this is around 37, 35 to around 44, even 42, roughly speaking. So these are the places. Let me make this area as a support. Let me just exit to the left. I'm just going to delete, delete those. And now there's a two things that I use in order to find the strong uh, places that the traders have sh like showing interest to trade. That's kind of those area can be considered as a strong supportive area. What do I use? I use uh, price action and also I use the volume profile to see where are the volumes. So we, uh, which place that the volume kind of played and that shows that the trader have interest in order to trade in those areas. So as you can see, there's like a, a hole in this whole area. I'm just gonna turn this to kind of grayish. There's a little like a volume in here and also in these areas. And also the price action. We just wanna see where the price kind of shoots up from that point. And we can see from here, it went down and just play sideways and these to kind of shoot the price up. So I'm going to see, uh, see in these candles, we expect even this one as well. The price can shoot up. How about this one? It's kind of went up, it played, it played, it played, 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 and it shoots the price up over here, roughly speaking. So this is how I found the prices. And we can see there's a strong correlation with this one as well. But we get a rough estimation of um, if the market drops around 37 to 42. How about if it does drop less? How about if it drops like 35? So this is an area that we can consider as a buying opportunity as well. And this is how I found uh, 13,900. Price, oh, that's 
correct. And also 11,900, which I expected the price. We're going to have some uh, return from these prices and these prices are really have a value to buy it rather than I'm looking at the price, I'm looking at the value. So this is my own analysis. Make sure do your own research. This is not a financial advice and you gotta keep your uh, money safe in these hard times. And don't forget to like, subscribe. That's kind of give us more energy to post more and educate you more as much as we can. As you know, we are in a, like a bear market officially. So this would help us more as well to provide more information to you guys as well. So thank you.